the Winner Go Home Day. For many Class B softball and baseball teams, let's start with the Region 3 Softball Championship. The one seat, Renville County, taking on the two seat, Delax Burlington, Lewis, and Clark. Ginger Savicole again in the circle, striking out the side in the third with a good mix of heat and off speed pitches to keep the Run, eight run lead protected early. Now the Muskrats added the lead layer. Tata off fourth, sends a grounder to short, throws off line as two more runners come home to extend the lead to double digits. Renville County secures its first ever region tournament with the win 10 to 3, the final. It's awesome to start off the program like that and kind of set a standard like this is what we stand for and just have all the younger girls live up to it forever. For some of our girls, it's the first time they'll ever be down there. For some of them, it's a return trip. So. Hopefully the ones that have been there can give that leadership and expectations of what it takes to compete when they're down there, and we'll see what we can do next week. Renville County moves on to the state tournament in Fargo, which is set to start a week from tomorrow. In the elimination bracket for Region 3, Botano taking on Tioga. No score in the bottom of the second before Cameron Tweed grounds one right at the pitcher, but that brings home the runner from third, one nothing stars. Botano up six in the third inning before Cameron Allard sends a single up left side to bring in the runner from third. Stars advance to the second place game with the 14-3 win. And in that game, Botano taking on DLBLC with the winner earning state title bid. Laker up 2-1 to one in the third before Logan Weistas squares up and drives one in the outfield to bring home a pair of runners to extend the lead to three. Now on to the fourth DLB runners scoring position and Tegan Anderson drops one to left bring in two more runners. Lakers take second place in the region three with the 12-1 to one win. 